Greetings, everybody. I am Eric Kosharski, and you are watching Video Game Wizard on YouTube. Woo! So here's the setup. I got the three tubs. I got the El Chavo. Look this one up. Look this up on eBay, guys. Um, it's a Spanish game. I think it's a Blockbuster exclusive. Maybe, I don't know. I haven't really done a whole lot of research on it. So I got my three tubs there. I got a bunch of games here. Over here I got Game Boy stuff. Josh is live. My live ended. Uh, PS4, PS3, we 360 Slim, PS3 Slim, we got the Retron 3, and actually this is backwards, it plays Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Genesis games, and then we got all the goodies here, we got the Sunshine, we got the Contra 3 Alien Wars, we got the jacket over there, I gotta bring Bart Simpson out, um, trying to sell him, anyway, I'll see you guys a little bit later when Mama K gets here at the ICOD Center, we'll Mama K finally decided to show up and look we have a tent um, I'll show you guys what it looks like in a second, but my games everybody was say hold on I'll just show you now everybody was complaining my games are gonna get all faded look at that shade Shade Games have shade and uh, I put my jacket up the jacket that I got last time up to cover that so look at that I gotta fix the tent a little bit, but yeah shade just made a $10 sale. Mama K is in her car. I guess she's trying to cool off. I should probably cool off in my car. But now that we got the tent up, it feels a whole lot better. Thank you. Thank you, tent. Thank you. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys later at the ICOT flea market. It's in a parking lot. Woo! I'm going to take it Powerade and freeze it like I do my Pepsis. I see that. I and, saw. And then you, that way there. You must be pretty hot. You have the AC on. I do. It's hot. Look, look, look into the sun. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, shoot. Actually, that. yeah, no more looking into the sun. I think it just messed up my thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's, ah. it's over freezing. Did you shake that? Shake, rattle, no. and roll, baby. No. I'll be right I back. Shake it I'll be right back. That. Bye. Okay, so we are here. Whoa. What am I doing? Why didn't I open that? Like, we're here. There's all the fruit and vegetable vendors. Um, there's some food over here. I'm going to go see if they have the uh, watermelon slushy because I can sure use one of those right now. It is so hot out here. That's the only downside to being here is it's really, really hot. But outside of that, you know, like when it comes fall and winter time, this will actually be a nice place to set up because it won't be so hot. The dog collar is the only thing left in my booth. I'm packing up. I got to go help her pack up now because all that stuff's heavy. Uh, how much you make today? 15? Yeah, she beat me. She beat me. She made sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars and a free phone, probably twenty bucks. I actually only did like ten dollars. This is the worst day I've had out here. Usually I do better than that. I don't know what's going on today. Um, a couple of the guys that I used to see in the morning weren't here this time, but I did see an old friend of mine. I don't, know if, you, I don't know if you guys remember James, like the seeker from the early misadventure episodes. Um, he showed up today. So I got to talk to him for a little bit. That was kind of cool. Anywho, uh, oh wait, you got to do a question of the day. We can't get out of here yet. What the hell? The, the question for the day is, will Aaron come help me swap out my dryers later on today? I need help. No, the question of the day is, what are you guys' opinion of ICOT? We've been here for about a month now. Tell us what you think. But what I do find funny is she keeps throwing stuff on the top of her trash heap and, 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 and it's down. avalanching back down. So yeah, question of the day, uh, what do you think of this, of this new market? Should I stay here permanently or what? So I gave it a month trial. Today was the worst day I've had. I only did 10 bucks, but at the same time, last Saturday I made 300. So it could just be a fluke of a week. Yeah, she made like 20 She beat me today, guys. 
but she didn't even bring anything. Anyway, um, so yeah, this will conclude this week's flea market episode from my cut center. Uh, say goodbye, Mama K. Bye, goodbye, Mama. Everybody. See you next donate week. Donate to the cause. Yeah, donate to Mama K's cause. The electric bill. Oh God, bye. Fifty cents a piece. Bye. So somebody over here made me stop at a garage sale. I was trying not to film this weekend, but apparently we are doing a garage sale video. So we'll see if we find anything at the next stop, and I'll see you guys in a second. Woo. Just stopped over there at that thrift store, and these are $2 each, but not only were they $2 each, it was 25% off. So I got all four items for $6. I've got UFC on Xbox One. This one's not really worth a whole lot, but it is still an Xbox One game for $2, so I couldn't pass up on it. This one here is the Game of the Year edition, so always pick up Game of the Year editions. Those are worth a little more. And last but not least, I got this Homeward Bound 1 and 2 collection. Hoping to find Game of Thrones seasons today, so I'll let you know if I find those, and I'll see you later at the garage sales. What are you doing, Josh? We're trying to leave, and then you're out here. He's, he's he just bought freaking Titanic on VHS. Uh, no, that's not good. That's CD. We got one Titanic of Jack Dawson. We got two of Jack Dawson. We got a Weird Al CD. Well, he doesn't have a Weird Al CD because I'm going to jack We got a Janis Joplin, and we got a cool Rolling Stone CD. Yeah, I bet. What happened to Pink Floyd? I didn't get Pink Floyd. Womp, womp, womp. So just stopped at Goodwill and they did something that in my opinion was kind of dumb. Let me lower you real fast. So I bought a controller for a 360 off of them. They had it priced at $398. But funny story, they had the system to connect the whole setup. 250 gig slim 360. But they wouldn't sell the entire thing for one price. They had the system priced at $25. They had the connect priced at $5. And this was priced at $3.98. I tried to explain them, yeah, I'll buy this, this is in my price range, but then how are you going to sell a system with no controller? And the manager didn't seem to care. She's like, everything's separate, we'd have to reprice it. I don't want to go through all that. And I wasn't giving them like $40 when you add all the pieces up individually. That's, that's stupid. I would have paid the $25 for everything. They weren't willing to do that. Whatever. Me and Kiwi are on our way to our next stop. Woo. Look guys, Kiwi bought an Arcade 1-Up. What is he doing with an Arcade 1-Up? I don't know. Kiwi over here has me out hunting, and I don't feel all that well right now, guys. This is a separate day. I feel like I gotta show you all the stuff. We just stopped at Value Pond over there. Um, look at this, complete in box. The box is a little torn on the side, but this was like $4. Um, I know, I know, Madden, whatever. It's Madden 22, it's got the GOAT, Tom Brady and who's who they claim is the new goat and then last but not least avengers that was five as well and what did you Garbage got Nothing. oh john yeah wolverine look with it wolverine woohoo they stopped at that cash america by the way we're in tampa because you know josh wants to go see earth wind and fire anyway um i got him to do ten dollars on that it's a complete we set up and then down here i got three batches of these it was 5.99 for a Wii remote and an umchuck and then if you look in the bag, there's another $5.99 right there. And last but not least, $5.99. So yeah, three combos for $5.99. And then the complete set for $10. Yeah, it says Michael $15, but I got them down to $10. Combo. I am not giving Michael's Workshop $6 for the combo!
okay.